Okay, so today is going to be a really, really fast video because my week got way out of hand and I just got behind time, so I'm making this video because it's something that I personally use all the time when editing. You might know it, but I guarantee if you practice with these little, these little features in Lightroom, it will speed up your editing a lot. So let's get into Lightroom and get started before I run out of more time. Will Simpson here, welcome back to the channel. Now, because we are on such a time crunch today, we are gonna get right into it and go over the hotkeys that I use on every, 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 and I say every and one more time just because I literally use these hotkeys every single time. And at first, it might take you a minute or two to get used to them, but once you do, that's all your left hand will be doing and you will be speeding up your edits so fast. Anyways, before we get into Lightroom, let's take a minute to hear from our sponsor of this video. Just kidding, there's no sponsor to this video. This is just my video. But if you are looking for a course to really up your Lightroom editing game, I highly recommend you checking out my Lightroom Master of Editing course and I will link it in the description. Now there are tons of hotkeys and I'm not gonna go over all of them, just the main ones that I use personally but there are a ton and I've created a, a hotkey cheat sheet and I'll link that in the description as well so you can download it if you'd like. So I use a lot of masks and so the first one that we're gonna go over is how to open the masks. Now I just use Shift W and it opens up your masks. Now if you want to go straight into another mask, let's close that, you can, press, you can close it with Shift W as well. Let's say you wanna do a linear gradient. Well, just simply press M on the keyboard and you can do a linear, no problem. Now, let's say you wanna do a radial gradient. Well, press Shift M and that will give you a radial gradient. Then you can place it wherever you want and boom, there we go, radial gradient. But let's say you wanna do a brush, just a standard brush. Well, press K on the keyboard and that will give you a nice, easy brush for you to brush and paint and do whatever your heart's desire is with a brush. Now, if you want to do a luminance mask, it's Shift Q. That gives you a luminance mask. If you want to do a color range mask, it's Shift J. I don't use those that often. I primarily use the radial gradient, the linear gradient, and the brush. Those are the primary ones that I do use and the Shift W. Um, the other thing you can do is while you're just in the main screen, not the mask, if you press W on the keyboard, not Shift W, you'll get the white balance tool. Select a place to choose your white balance, and boom, now you've set proper white balance. Now, I don't like that, so we're just gonna press Command-Z and undo that. Another thing you can do for the crop tool, press R on the keyboard, and then you can actually cycle through different layouts. So once you're in the crop tool, you can press O, which cycles through many different layouts, and then let's say you have one of these, but you want this, the spiral, to be in the top left corner. Well, when you're here, press Shift-O, and it'll rotate that layout. So that's kind of that's kind of a cool thing. So let's go ahead and change this back to our rule of thirds, which I primarily use. Another one that I use all the time is the info. Press I on the keyboard, and up in the top left corner, you will get the info of the camera settings and the photo that you're working on. So here is the info of the date it was taken and the size of the photo. Press I again, you'll get the camera settings and all of that. Now that is up here in the histogram area right here as well but it's sometimes nice to see all the data there. Press I again to get rid of it. Now, if you wanna see this, the, the image full screen, press F on the keyboard, but there you go, it makes full screen. Now, let's say you wanna look at the image without the distractions of everything around it. Well, press L on the keyboard, and then L again, and it'll black out the screen, but just the image, press L one more time, and there you have it, you're back into Lightroom. So those are my primarily used hotkeys. Again, we could go into this way longer, but I wanted to keep this really, really short. So if you have any questions, you know where the comment section is. If you wanna download the full hotkey cheat sheet, it's linked in the description along with my Lightroom Master of Editing course. Otherwise, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already to continue your education. YouTube recommends that video, I recommend this video, and that's it. Hopefully I have more time to put into a video next week, but we'll see. Have a good one. Happy Easter.